It's four o'clock. I'd like to call the meeting of the City Planning Commission to order. Uh, starting out, roll call. Mayor Vandersteen. Here. Alderperson Boren. Here. Ryan Sazma. Here. Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones. He was here. Marilyn Montemeyer. Here. here. David Huffman. Here. And Don Sviton. Here. We have six. One present. more call for Jerry Jones. Here. Can you hear me? Very good. Thank you. Here. Uh, next item is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Next, let's uh, go through and introduce, introduce the committee members and staff. David? Dave Hoffman, citizen member. Mike Vandersteen, mayor. Chad Pelishek, planning director. Steve Soklowski from the planning department. Uh, Ryan Sazma, Department of Public Works. Don Sweetan, commission member. And online we have Alderperson Boren. Alder, uh, Alderman Jim Boren from the 10th District. I'm the uh, alderman on the plan commission. Marilyn. Uh, citizen representative. Jerry. Jerry Jones, vice chairman and citizen representative. Thank you. Um, does anybody have a potential conflict of interest with any of the items on the agenda? No. Seeing none, we'll move on to the minutes. Um, the approve, seeking a motion to approve the Planning Commission minutes from May 26th. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve, Boren. Second. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Uh, is there any discussion? Second, Jerry Jones. <laughs> Seeing no discussion, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Under items for discussion and possible action, item 3.1 is a conditional use and variance application by PB2 Architecture to replace and install a new wall signage at Walmart located at 3711 South Taylor Drive. Steve. All right, thanks, Mayor. Um, I believe Robert Coffey is on the line. Richard Coffel, yes, sir. Richard Coffel, sorry about that, Richard. No, you're fine. Um, what we're taking a look at is Walmart is uh, updating both interior and exterior branding nationwide to incorporate their online grocery pickup. And the updated signage will keep the exterior current while also directing customers to the desired location inside and outside the store. Presently, there's a total of 11 signs on the building. And um, uh, eight of those signs, or I'm sorry, nine of those signs are Walmart. And then there are two that refer to Subway and Guarantee Bank, which are tenants of that facility. Uh, Walmart would like to replace their eight signs with um, uh the same signs and one new sign. Um, the new sign is for Lawn and Garden, which is on the very south side of the building in their Lawn and Garden area. I believe they removed that sign previously when they came into the plan commission for their um, uh, new pickup area. Um, so the signage itself, uh, the total uh, signage that will be up there is about 12 signs and the increase in the overall square footage will be 68 uh, square feet. Um, you can see that five of those signs are going on the front elevation, with it, which is the west elevation. Those include the grocery, the Walmart, the home and pharmacy, auto center, lawn and garden. And then on the south side of the building is where their auto center is. And in that area, there's a, a, a sign for their auto center, uh, two areas for tires, and then one for lube. Um, so the only thing that is going on with this is that on that south side of the Walmart facility, um, if you could you scroll all the way to the end, um, they do have some pennant racing signs 
and that temporary sign. So the only thing staff was asking is just that those temporary uh, banners and pennants would have to be removed. Other than that, staff was recommending an approval of the signage as proposed. Thank you very much. Would the applicant like to make any comments? No, sir, he, he did a great job summing up uh, kind of our, our plan there. Thank you. Commissioners, any discussion? Any Mary more? Jones? Yeah, go ahead, Jim. I, I was just going to make a motion to approve subject to conditions and also uh, from looking at the, uh, the signs, I think it's going to be a nice upgrade for that location. Thank you for that uh, motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we have, second. we have a motion on the floor. Is there any oh. further discussion? Mayor. Yes. Richard, I had, I had one question for you. Um, I was working with Jen Paquin and I was having some trouble getting some attachments from her. The lawn and garden sign is going to be incorporated into that EFIS area at the south uh, side of, on that, at that south uh, west corner, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, our uh, construction documents have already been updated. Um, yeah, that, that's where we moved it, right above the, the door uh, nope. currently. Not, not, not the signage right above the door, but in the EFIS square above that, correct? To match the others? Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. See no other discussion. All those in favor? Is there other discussion? Jerry? Uh, yeah, just a quick question for Richard. Uh, is there a problem with you removing those temporary signs on the side for our request? No, sir. Those were actually installed by Walmart. And I, depending on when the, the pictures are taken, they put them up. But we can put a note. We'll just put a note on our we can put a note on our drawing <coughs> indicating that the temporary uh, pendants and banners need to come down. OK, thank you. Hmm? Roll call. <coughs> Okay, we're going to take a roll call vote. Chad? Mayor Vandersteen? Aye. Alderperson Boren? Aye. Ryan Sasma? Aye. Jerry Jones? <coughs> Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer? Aye. Dave Huffman? Aye. Don Sviton? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to item 3.2, <coughs> conditional use and variance application by Robert Heimerl to create a new single family lot at 3820 North 13th Street. Steve. All right. Um, Bob Heimerl and Christy Heimerl are here, and they own the property at 3020 North 13th Street. Plan Commission probably uh, recalls that in September of 19. Uh, the Heimrolls annexed the property to the city, and at that time they indicated they were looking at uh, potentially creating two lots. Then in February, they came to <laughs> the uh, plan commission with the CSM uh, to create two driveways. Um, let's see here. So that was the one that you see uh, on the computer right now was what they originally came in with, showed two uh, driveways. Uh, subsequent discussion with uh, the town indicated that the town, uh, North 13th Street is a town right away, and they would prefer not to have the two driveways. So the applicant has, that's the one I want right there, thank you. Um, you can see at the bottom, at the cul-de-sac, previously each lot had its own driveway. They still have their own driveway, but now based on the discussions with the town, the town wanted to keep the existing driveway cut at the street. So what uh, Mr. Harmerell is proposing at this point in time is to provide lot two to have an access easement over that strip over lot one. So they're both sharing that ex one existing driveway. So basically it's exactly the same, but based on discussions with the town, they wanted to keep uh, one access cut instead of two cuts at the drive. And so that's what uh, Mr. Heimerl has done with regards to the CSM you have before you today. Um, and staff was recommending approval. Thank you for that report, Steve. Bob, would you like to make some comments to this? Yeah, just to clarify why the town wanted it that way is they pile snow in that location currently. And uh, he did say it would be a huge hardship for him if we took that away. Um, he said that the cul-de-sac isn't designed properly. It's too small. 
so it doesn't allow for the trucks to make the turn. And now, I, that's my understanding of why that's still needed. He did say, though, that, you know, if someone came and built a house on this new lot, this could be the time that they would update that cul-de-sac. And then he said we could come back later and get that driveway apron approved, <clears throat> the second one. Thank because they for, wouldn't need it at that time. Okay, thank you for that information. Uh, commissioners, any questions? Seeing no discussion and entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. That's before mm -hmm. us. One more call for any discussion on the motion. Seeing none, all those in favor, please. Nope. Oh, we've got to do a roll call again. Mayor Vandersteen? Aye. Older person Boren? Aye. Ryan Sazma? Aye. Jerry Jones? Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer? Aye. Dave Hoffman? Aye. Don Sviton? Aye. Motion passes. Good luck with things. Our next meeting date uh, is June 23rd. And Jerry, you're up next. Move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you, Motion passes. We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight. Aye.